those tags are passive. They're they're inert, and they just sit there in the fish. Okay, when, we, I got you. when we run the wand over the top of them, that sends a charge to the little coil in the tag, yeah. which transmits which back the yeah. ID number on the fish. Yeah. So you have to actually get the fish in hand within a couple inches and run the reader over them. You can't uh, you can't track them from a distance. You right. got to get them in hand. Yeah. It's not like the uh, those bigger telemetry tags that we've used on some projects. They'll transmit. They're an active tag, and they'll transmit a signal you know, you. up to a half mile or a mile, and you can actually you know, locate them using a, a directional hydrophone mm -hmm. or a remote sensor out in the river. But these we actually have to grab and get yeah. in hand. But you only get 14 months out of those other tags because they don't have battery life. Right. Where these will last a lot longer sure. because they yeah. get activated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you get better. I mean, better information with fish in hand, but you can't get the remote. Yeah readers on the bridges and, and have them when they yeah. swim by like the other tags. So out of the 340 you've tagged so far, you've caught 10? Well, we've only recaptured 10. 10. Yeah. That, that means there's a lot of fish up there. Right. When your recapture rate is that low, right. that tells you your population is pretty big. Yeah. What was the uh, growth like in those? They grow about 8 millimeters every month, which is Three eighths to a half inch a month. On the, the average of those ten fish that we recaptured, they they grow about that rate. Um, some of them grew as much as almost an inch over the course of three months. Yeah. Oh. What's the distance to for, now? Do you when you insert those and you recapture one later, you can measure the distance from where you were. Yes. What's the greatest distance? I mean, you hear a lot of that with the spoonbill. Yeah. The distance they travel. What about one of these guys? What's a bigger distance or an average distance? Most nine of the ten that we recaptured were recaptured in the same tailwater where they were tagged. Okay. So they were kind of home bodies. One fish we tagged last April below Eufaula, and we recaptured it in the Lower Illinois River. Whoa. Um, and that was 45 to 48 miles away from where he was tagged. So that's unusual. Well, we don't know yet. We haven't gotten enough information yeah. to know if it's unusual. We know they travel long distances on spawning runs and that kind of thing. Um, my guess is that those fish below Eufaula go up below Eufaula in April, like when we tagged it. They go up there to do a spawning run or make that run. Later in the summer when we recaptured that one, he was in the lower Illinois probably because it's got that nice cool water and that's where they go for the summer. So, is there any designation between male and female? When we can tell uh, during the peak of the spawn, we'll squeeze them and if we get uh, milt or eggs out of them, we'll We'll mark it down as a male or female if we know for sure, but pretty much that's April and May or so. Do you find the male or females more transient than the others? or haven't seen that pattern yet. Okay. Um, that's why we're, we're hoping to get a bunch more tags in the fish this year, and as our recapture rate goes up, that's the kind of stuff we'll be able then to Then you'll be begin to collect more data. Yep. All right, gentlemen, thank you.